Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back with a brand new video. Let me show you guys how to run Dying Light 2 Stay Human for the PC on very low end hardware. I'm joking, it's not that low end, but still, it's gonna be running on the Iris 540. I would have normally tested it on the 4600, however, if you've seen my previous video, the 4600 does not run, but the Iris does. And as you can see, we're running at 720p with the MSR on on the lowest preset and we're getting about you know it's just the performance is working it's not the worst performance out there but we could do better so now I'm gonna show you some tweaks and tricks to get this game running smoother oh 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 geez oh geez oh geez oh geez oh geez totally forgot about that totally forgot I don't like to beat around the bush, we like to get through this as soon as possible, you know, so we're just going to dive into it real quick. You're going to find it in your PC, Documents, and it's going to be right here, Dying Light 2, Out, Settings, and right here it's going to be with Video.SCR. You can either open this with WordPad++ or Notepad or whatever you have. I have it here open with Notepad, and as you can see, I've already disabled and dropped everything down to the lowest. I literally just did it. I took text quality from high to low and the shadow map I'm spot map size down to 32 we turn off motion blur anti-aliasing fog quality and voxel GI quality something I've never heard of before by the way that's the first time I've heard of that that one I'll even turn off anti-aliasing but we probably could have left it on because it helps with the bloom sometimes I mean I think say it looks a little bit better but I none than that and this is about it this is what we're going to leave on and we're going to go back into the game now and see what happens uh, don't worry, we'll be going back again, but as you can see, there definitely has been a negative effect in how the game looks. Yikes. Definitely looks different. It is using much more CPU using more CPU usage as well now, but uh, biters. And definitely seems to be playing more stably around this yeah. FPS than previously, as you can see. It's keeping around more around the 20 than it did before. <laughs> Which is quite nice to be honest, but we can do better than that. We were shooting for 30, which is going to probably be a resolution. But look at that. You really can make Dying Light 2 look like a piece of crap, can't you? Look at how this looks now. Shadows are barely there. Things are rendering it's very, very shakily out of... That helps you in many... This, this will help you in many scenarios. But if we really just want the big boost... We're going to need to drop that resolution down to something like 640 by 480 again and see what happens. Once again, the dying light. Hey, we're hitting 30. It ain't going to stay here, but we're hitting it. In areas that would have been normally 15 FPS, this is what 640 by 480 looks like. We've really dropped down to the bottom of the barrel now. Like I said, we really were going to tweak this game, and we did. It can be tweaked. It, it's not going down as far as I I would have liked it to, but you can see there's a huge, still a huge bottleneck there with the CPU, the GPU. You just, I think I just reached the limit of my GPU at this point in time. I kind of think that that's what this is, because no matter what I do now, it doesn't really give me any extra performance. Well, it does, but just not to the extent that you would have wanted it to, to be at. I feel like at this point we've reached a limit of, yeah, you ain't, you ain't going any further than this, Bob. Without making the game look even worse. And I mean, yikes. Like, we come back here, we, we get around the same FPS again. Okay, we're getting a bit higher here, sure, but... You know, it's kind of still coming around to the same amount. Now, this is actually a lot better to be fair because before we were, we were still dropping down to 15 when we were in combat. And here now, it actually isn't. It's keeping over 20 FPS. So it definitely has been improved, but I don't know if I want to go any further <laughs> than this. I don't know if I want to I wanna do this anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. The whole point was just to show you guys that you can get extra frames running Dying Light 2 on your low-end PC if you have integrated graphics and you're running it 
fear not, you there is ways to get the game more playable. Like the whole point was to get it over 15 and we did. So it will play much smoother now. So you actually can have more enjoyment out of the game, but at the same time, is it really worth it? <laughs> Go away. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Now, I think to myself a lot, Javon, should I go even further? But I won't. I feel like that's the end of the video for now. Unless I can disable shadows completely. If I can disable shadows completely, I will come back. Otherwise, this is the end. See you guys again. Back one last time to show you guys. Here we are. We've just changed the light to 640 by 480 and we're going to launch the game. This is the last bit we're going to do at this point because I feel like we, we really can't go any further than this. So the 640 by 480, the scalers are still there although we could probably bump these down. But it'll probably look terrible if we do at this point. And we're moving on. I'll see you guys in a bit. This is going to suck. <laughs> See, as we've gone to the bare minimum now, we still can't see a damn thing. So, basically speaking, the GPU has reached its limit. So, you need to have something a bit more powerful to get this running. But, nonetheless, this is Dying Light 2, guys. It runs. But, yeah, just like I suspected, you need something a bit more powerful at this point. Otherwise... It's simply gonna crap out and say, nah, we can't do this, bro. We can't, we can't do this. <laughs> I try pushing it further and the CPU just can't, the GPU just can't get any higher and further than this. Keep in mind, this is stronger than a 620 or a 630. The MSI 40 is a little above the 630. So keep that in mind. Nonetheless, we are getting more performance here, but... Is it really worth it at this point? Ah, biters. We are getting over 30 in combat, though. Yikes, I can't, I can't see what's going on. This has been Dying Light 2. This is, this has been a longer video than I normally would have done. Simply because I've been really going through it all. But we got it running on low-end hardware. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys.